Hello everyone, my name is Sagar Pachapati and in this video I am going to solve an important question of PySpark which was asked in the recent interview of Cerebral Technology. I hope that you know this company and this is a very, very famous company, uh, a service based company as well as a support based company. So if you are interested, you can also apply a job in this company. Uh, I believe they have an open position for Azure Data Engineer. Cool. Now let's get started this question and please uh, pause this video and try to solve this question by yourself if you don't then then go and you know watch this video till the till the end or maybe you can also watch the video till the end to understand uh, the concept uh, right so before we do that i would like to introduce the course which i have uh, built this is azure data engineer course full course theory and project and you can see this course contain 12 courses it's a kind of package and this course was built by me, Indeep, Priyanshi and Bhavna. I hope you know this girl, this lady, Bhavna Pedi Crowd Fitness channel, YouTube channel, right? And uh, I have covered like these many courses like Python, SQL, Databricks, Delta Lake Project, Real Time Scenario, understand uh, azure data factory real-time use case of azure data factory real-time scenarios of logic app real-time based project on azure's then uh, power bi course and fabric course so if you want to know uh, the detail of each courses what you can do you can click on this uh, link click here to see full course so that you will uh, go and you know check out the course and students are placed in these companies and with some 50% hike, with some 100% hike, it depends on the base package as well as the student, right? If you are very good student, you, you, you may get like 150% hike, but if you're not, then maybe you get only 50%. So it depends to totally on you, right? And all these are the, you know, student feedbacks, you can check it out. And here, here also you can uh, click on, on these courses to understand the course curriculum and so. Chalo, let's go back to this question. So what is the question saying that, hey, question is, we have like department ID and employee ID. Department ID is 101 and we have like 10101, 10102, 10103. So employee ID is, is into a array, right? Likewise, we have department ID too, uh, like 102 and we have, like, we have this. And we, we want output like this. So basically what we are doing is here, we are, I mean, see, it is a group data, right? It is a group data. We do not want a group data. So we want to segregate it. We want to segregate or we want to flatten it. We want to flatten the array, right? So how we can do that? We'll see it. So uh, this is a script by which you can, you know, create a data frame. So let me click on it. So here, uh, I just created a data, uh, right? Data frame, and this is df dot uh, print schema, which will tell us the schema, right? So department ID is in long, and employee ID e underscore ID is in array, right? Let's do. Now we'll see how we can do that. Very simple thing. Right from PySpark dot SQL dot functions import explode col i believe now df underscore two or df underscore final is equal to df dot df dot select call of what see i will use here department id in the select function in in the call department underscore id now with this with respect to department id i want to flatten what I want to flatten, I want to flatten uh, another column called EID, right? Now, what if, if I just do a df.final.show or display, whatever, we'll see. Now you can see it return uh, the output like this. Now output or, or data frame, right? But you can see, you can see over here that it returns call. So I need to rename it. So when we want to rename it, we have a function called alias, right? So I can put here E underscore ID only. Once I click on this uh, button, then you can see now we have a sim similar record, 
right now what if if i say hey i want to uh, you know i mean uh, you we, we can say like hey sort this data based on department id or uh, right so i can use here like you know order by call of what dipped underscore id and if you want a decreasing order you can put here decreasing order function otherwise you can uh, you can leave it alone you leave it as it is uh, you know uh, if you want to have the solution in an increasing order or ascending order right so let's um, click on it it will not change it since you know the priority is already in a sort order in a sorted order right so you can see this this output look like this i believe you understood it right yeah uh, i i hope that you understood it and please try to solve this question this is very important function you may get this kind of question in your any interviews and uh, try to subscribe to my channel you can find out the link of my courses in the description box in the i button and please follow to me follow to my youtube channel follow to my linkedin so that you will get uh, some good knowledge of these uh, stuff right so thank you bye bye and we'll meet you in the next lecture